Here is an example of free space propagation antenna gain and how to compute received power. So the problem is a communication link uses a pair of 2 meter transmit and receive dish antennas with efficiency of 50% each. The following specification is provided. Um, carrier frequency of 3 gigahertz, transmit power of 2 watts, and distance of 100 meter between antennas. Question is compute free space path loss power gain of each antenna and received power in terms of dBm watt. So for the first part, um, free space path loss, we know from Ferry's uh, propagation equation that free space path loss is 10 log 10, 4 pi d over lambda to power 2, or equivalently 20 log 10, 4 pi d over lambda. And we know lambda is c over f. f is the carrier frequency, c is the speed of light. This is 3, 10 to the 8. This is given 3 gigahertz, so it's 3, 10 to the 9. So from there, we get 20 log 10, 4 pi. Uh, these two guys divided so it would be, um, this distance is 100 meter, and 0.1 meter is the lambda. So we have um, 20 log 10, 4 pi times 1,000. This is roughly 82 dB. So, and by the way, this is obviously the free scale, uh, the free space path loss is only valid for far field, which is the case here for 100 meter distance between transmit and receive antenna. So we now have the free, uh, free space path loss of 82 dB. Now, part B is asking uh, us to compute the power gain of each antenna. So power gain of receive antenna and transmit antenna would be the same because they are the same type of dish antennas. And dB would be um, 10 log again, this is a well known formula, 10 log 10, 4 pi over lambda squared A, uh, which is the eff effective aperture of the antenna. So it is 10 log 10, 4 pi over lambda squared. For the effective ap aperture, we have the efficiency, which is 50%. It means that only 50% of the receive antenna is going to be acquired by the antenna of the receive power. So it's uh, 0 0.5 times the area. The area is a dish antenna, so it would be simply p, pi r squared. Uh, the diameter is 2 meter, so the radius would be 1 meter. So from here we have 10 log 10, 4 pi, we got lambda of 0 0.1 meter um, squared times 0 0.5 times pi, and again r is 1 meter. Uh, so if you compute this, um, we get uh, roughly 33 dB of receive antenna and transmit antenna gain. And part C um, is asking for um, Rx power or receive power in dBm. Well, the received power is, uh, again, in dB, uh, watt or dB later dBm is transmit power in dB watt uh, minus or, or plus um, receive antenna gain in dB minus free space path loss in dB um, because the transmit power will be attenuated by the amount of free space path loss because of the distance between transmitter and receive antenna, and then the received power will be magnified by the amount of power gain of the receive antenna. That would be the received power. So in this case, we know this guy is 10 log 10. Received power is given to be 2 watt. Transmit power is given to be 2 watt, so it would be 2 watt here. Uh, the power gain of receive antenna is computed 33 dB. Uh, the free space path loss is computed 82 dB. This is 3 dB, so we get 36 minus 82, which is 
46 dB watt. And if you want dBm, of course, you have to increase this by 30, then you get 76 dBm watt.